Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kent. We begin with that round of overnight storms causing even more damage and power outages around the metro. Hardest hit areas include the Middell area and southwest Oklahoma City. And that's where we find News Force Jacqueline Chappell. She now joins us live. Jacqueline, kind of a mess. Yeah, Kent, a lot of poor folks here waking up to a lot of damage this morning. We're here near Southwest 25th and Western, and the business we're standing in front of is S and S Textiles. They do screen printing and also um, just custom embroidery on T-shirts and other clothing. I'm gonna kind of sip out of the shot so you can see a better look at what we're seeing here. Obviously, a lot of damage. Um, there's uh, bits of debris all over the place. Uh, some insulation. Yeah, part of their garage door here was ripped off. You can see where the fence was also ruined and bits of bits of concrete and parts of the wall that are just scattered all throughout the sidewalk and also the driveway here. And obviously their their roof was ripped off and not only was it ripped off, but it was thrown on top of two neighboring businesses right here. You can see one part of the roof here in front of Jay's plumbing and then the other top landing on top of the other business right next door. Now this is not the only place that took a hit. The next door plumbing business also had part of their roof removed. There are even homes nearby where we saw people picking up tree limbs and also clearing out their driveways. Now we do want to mention the owner of SNS Textiles, as we said earlier, does screen printing for the fire department and also others. He is also a retired firefighter himself, saying he has seen much worse destruction in his time working in the Oklahoma City bombing. But today he is worried some of his embroidery and screen printing machines may be permanently damaged. It's like a tornado hit the, the north end of the building and uh, took care of the a lot of the storage, a lot of the stuff we got on hand to, to use, and uh, trying to salvage what we can. Not good, but we'll get through it. And a lot of the businesses right here are without power right now. You can see behind me there is, are down power lines. You can see that right now they're actually working on the power lines here. We are told it was probably straight line winds, very high straight line winds that created this problem. But obviously it's going to be a lot of cleanup this weekend for these folks. But I'll send it back to you guys. Jacqueline, thank you. And some storm damage to report over in Dell City as well. High winds peeled the roof off this strip mall right across from Dell City High School. It also forced power lines to hang close to the ground. Framework now exposed with boards and nails sticking out and covering the walkway there. One woman who owns a few stores says she's glad that no one was inside. The place is flooded, and but they're telling us not to go in because of the, the wiring and the electricity and stuff. It's not going to rain forever. And I, I believe everything happens for a reason. Jackson says her security company actually called and woke her up because they thought someone might be trying to break in through the roof. OG&E was called out to turn off the power.